From crowns to cakes, one teen business owner is rolling in the dough and using her passion to help others. In today's Generation Money, Miss Teen Orlando hangs out with our very own Arielle Hickson and gives a lesson on the business of baking. You want to just roll it into a ball? I feel like it's been like five years now that I like knew that was what was meant for me, baking. 15-year-old Emily Grace is ahead of her time. She's an entrepreneur running her very own sweet business. Today is actually the day that my trademark came in for Kitchenasium, so I'll be able to use it on like baked goods and like for YouTube. So I have a YouTube channel with over 100 videos. So now it'll be trademarked the name Kitchenasium. So you're 15 years old with a trademark. <laughs> it's awesome. It all started with another hobby of hers, beauty pageants. When Emily ran for Junior Miss Teen Orlando and the pageant fees were too expensive, she relied on her baking skills to cook her way to the top. I needed to raise all the pageant fees, so that's how it really began, but it turned into like a real business. And the name of it is Emily's Kitchenasium, which Kitchenasium comes off the word gymnasium, but like kitchen, like where cooks go to get a workout. She walked away from the pageant with two titles, Miss Teen Orlando and Queen of the Kitchen but her real passion comes from giving back. It feels amazing because I get to do something I love doing, but you also get to give back and everyone else gets to feel like really good while you're like giving back to the community. Emily volunteers at an organization called Give Kids the World, a resort in Central Florida that gives kids with life-threatening illnesses a free week-long vacation. With your volunteering, what do you do to give back to your community? I volunteer in the ice cream shop, so I always get to make uh, them like ice creams and like I always go like over the top with the whipped cream and like <laughs> chocolate drizzle and like I love going all out and then seeing their faces light up when you give them the ice cream, it's the best. She also hosts bake sales, raising all she can for the resort. So I'm super proud that I was able to give so much money out of my bake sales. I give a portion to Give Kids the World. I was able to raise $500 for them. And one day I definitely want to be able to write them a check for a million dollars. In the future, Emily hopes to make baking her full-time gig. I want to be known all over the world for my delicious sweet treats. And I definitely want to one day open my own bakery. What would you say to a young entrepreneur who might need some advice regarding running their own business? Definitely stay confident with your business because there'll be times where you maybe don't make enough money or you think your business is failing. But as long as you're doing something you love, one day it'll be a success and your name will be like everywhere with your business. Ariel Hickson, Channel One News. Really sweet story, Arielle, and I definitely wouldn't argue if she sent some of those treats our way. Plus, we have more teens starting businesses and making money. Check them out on channel1.com. All right, have an awesome day, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow.